may find this video a bit tedious to watch. Please bear with me because that's the point. I'm hoping it's an eye-opener in another sense because this is really the great secret weapon that is pulling a canoe. Sneaking downstream. A tripper may choose to portage or line a set of rapids for a number of reasons. It's above their paddling skill level, it's above the risk threshold for that trip, or it may not be too bad, but the consequences of a mistake would be bad. This reasoning process would have been based on how difficult the section was to paddle. A person with some polling skills would be looking at the polling route options as well. So, look at the river to the left of me, and then where I am. See how shallow and slow the water is this close to shore? Even if I get jammed up somewhere, I can step out into fairly slow, shallow water. That's much better than 1200 meter portage. Many large, powerful rapids will have a much slower and shallower shore current. It might be too shallow or rocky for a paddler to even conceive of. Or maybe not with a pole. slow to a stop, torque the board around until I'm aligned the way I want, and then let it go a bit. Even if I rub up against a rock or two, there's no forest because I'm just creeping along. The polar even uses some rocks to help pivot or hold the boat while aligning or just looking. I would admit that I pinned my pole for a second, but I recovered it. I can also just pull my spare pole in a matter of seconds and pick it up afterwards. This also works better with your gear still in the boat because it allows you to trim better for moving slower than the current. My paddling partner already snagged a pack, but I grabbed a food barrel and tucked it up into the bow. So, I am sneaking down close to the shoreline, well away from the class 1 and class 2 stuff. But consider this, on another rapid, the main paddling line could well be class 3, class 4, or even worse. You can see how much slower the current is, just by moving a couple feet closer to the shore. That means sneaking down a shoreline is a very real option for rapids that no one could paddle. Now there are a lot of rocks to avoid, but this is a polar's line, not a paddler's line, and this is the pole's strength. Crooked shoot on the Petawawa River in Algonquin Park has a nasty and often deadly section in the middle and a long section above it which is doable by many. The full portage is however 1580 meters or a mile long. That's a good walk. It's a really good carry. There are three takeout options before the shoot. If you choose the first, it's a whole enchilada. The second knocks off about 600 meters. And third gets you to the signpost on the tree which says, last chance. There is no avoiding the final 400 meter walk. 
that's just fine with me since our group is camping at the third takeout and I'll be doing it with everyone else in the morning. So it's keep it slow, stop, ferry, pivot, side slip, and then drift forward some more. You may even have to back up a bit, but that's all the same with a pole. It all adds to your experience and abilities and capabilities. It teaches you to see all the options that a stretch of water presents you, and it keeps you in your boat. Please don't tell me you'd prefer a 1200 meter portage to a nice bit of boat handling. Thank you.